Hello all, Jamie Rogers here today from Creative Expressions and today we're going to be looking at a top tip of engraving with our dies. For today's technique I'm going to be using this lovely birdcage die by Sue Wilson but you could of course be using all of the dies you already have in your stash. Now there are quite a few ways in which we can achieve this result but my favourite one and the one I'm going to share with you today is by making our card basically too thick for the die to cut through. So I've taken a piece of bright white foundations card, I've put on top of that a piece of self-adhesive sheet and then I'm going to remove the top layer of this and adhere on a piece of our black foundations card. So we're asking the die to cut through two levels of card and a self-adhesive sheet and quite frankly this is a little bit too much for this die and that means that instead of cutting through it it's going to cut through the top layer of card and then all of them pieces are going to stay in place and give us an engraved effect instead of cutting all the way through both layers. Now you can achieve this effect by using a single sheet of card with your dies and just releasing or lowering down the amount of pressure that your machine can actually create. And you can do this by taking away shims or plates and playing around with the different ways that you actually send your dies through. So do have a look at different ways to achieve this. But as I said, I quite like having the black card behind it and the self-adhesive sheet will hold all of them elements in place. So even if they have cut free on the top layer, the self-adhesive sheet will keep hold of them and nothing will move. When we remove the die from this cut, we can see that we have created that lovely cutting effect. When we flip the card over, we can see that we've not at any stage cut all the way through the layers. So everything is going to be held together for us thanks to that self-adhesive sheet. And as I mentioned, you're going to see them black areas coming through on them cut lines to give this even more depth. Now if you wish to, you can of course do this with fancy coloured cardstocks, or you can add colour once you've done the effect. So for this one, all I'm going to do is bring in a Wendy Becky Makeup blendable dye ink in cornflower blue and just take this ink directly over the top of the panel I've engraved, highlighting them areas and engraving nicely between the colours of the card and the ink. Had I have applied my ink with a brayer, I may have found that actually I ended up with even more of an engraved looking effect. You could of course paint or ink or add polishes over the top, so play around with different techniques and layering up on top of your engraved effect. For the card I shared with you at the beginning of this video and the one I'm going to share with you at the end of the video, I actually painted the cardstock before engraving into it with a Cosmic Shimmer Watercolour Palette, which again hopefully gives you a few ideas of how you can treat your cardstock before doing your engraving techniques. All of the products I've shared with you are available from all good creative expression stockists worldwide. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.